Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles WWE Series 2 Leonardo as Finn Balor. That's right, the Turtles are back with a second series of WWE crossover action figures. I found the first series incredibly fun, and this new series sees the four Turtles dressed up as a new batch of WWE superstars. So we're going to start things off by taking a look at the Leonardo as Finn Balor, which you can see comes in that same style large window box packaging. It fully showcases the action figure and his accessories within, and on the lower portion of the package we have an image of WWE Superstar Finn Balor. The back of that box gives us an image of all four turtle action figures in this particular wave, dressed up like their WWE Superstars. So let's go ahead and get Finn Balor outside of the box and get a closer look at him. Now, just like with Series 1, if you saw those, you already know what to expect scale-wise. But if this is your first time seeing them, it's worth noting that these are much, much bigger than your standard TMNT action figure from Playmates Toys. As you can see, the figure is over 6 inches tall. So standing him alongside the standard Leonardo figure, you can see just how much bigger he is. I kind of like this. It does make him bigger and bulkier. Um, actually kind of works well, I guess, for fitting in with other WWE figures if you want to, but it definitely makes them stand out as their own thing, separate from the basic action figure line. So as you can see, Leonardo here is in full-on Demon King Finn Balor mode. He's got the tassels, he's got the makeup, and it is an incredibly cool look. Just get a close look here at some of the details. First of all, one of the things that I love is that even though they're dressed in their wrestling gear... They're still rocking their ninja gear at the same time. So, of course, Leonardo has got his blue signature mask on. Even though that blue totally clashes with the red and black of Finn Balor's outfits. But you can also see he's still wearing his brown ninja belt over his wrestling trunks. I think that is hilarious, but it's a cool touch. And it's actually that way across the board with all of the turtles in this line dressed as their signature wrestling superstars. So lots of cool little Finn Balor deco going on here. Uh, you'll see that the head sculpt features this great kind of wig, the tassel wig that Finn Balor wears for his entrances when in Demon King mode. Uh, this is all a nice solid sculpt, but you can see it does have some separate pieces on there, which is really cool, done in that red and black style. And then you'll, of course, notice he's got the face paint. So you can see kind of like the white teeth face paint over his cheeks and coming down over his mouth. And then, of course, the big gaping open mouth that bleeds down onto his neck and chest there with the teeth and the tongue. I love it. It is so cool. He's also wearing uh, the Finn Balor style armbands with the red and black, but still wearing black elbow pads over that and has the tassels hanging from his arms. And you can see those are separate sculpted pieces. So they're kind of loose. And I like this because that way, when you pose the figure around, you can position the tassels however it looks best to keep them hanging or flowing or whatever works best for the pose that you're using. So I think that is a really, really nice touch there. So you can see he is wearing the wrestling trunks with the little red flames on there. He's got the knee pads with the teeth on there. And he is rocking wrestling boots. You can even see some tassels kind of sculpted on there. It's really, really cool. I mean, this is a full-on brand new sculpt with all of the awesome uh, Finn Balor wrestling gear sculpted on. And it is fully painted. Nice, bright, colorful paint deco all the way through. I think he's a very, very fun-looking figure. And I think they capture that Finn Balor look really well. In Ninja Turtle form. It's so, so very cool. So let's talk about articulation with this guy. Uh, the head is ball jointed, so it can look around left and right. It's worth noting that that hair is hindering the movement just a bit, so it's hard to get his head looking up and down. You do have the ball joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You got swivels at the elbow, standard bend at the elbow, as well as swivels at the wrist there. Um, he doesn't have anything in the torso. They got that full shell body there. He does have the hinge-like joints at the thighs, so the legs can go outwards, 
forwards, backwards, as well as swivel. He's got bends at the knees there, which is below the knee pads, as well as swivels there. Uh, but no other articulation in the big footed wrestling boots there. So it's a decent amount of articulation. You can actually pull off some poses there. Um, it's hard to do things like the uh, Finn Balor crawl to the ring entrance because he can't really position his head upwards. I actually used his stair accessory for that particular pose. Uh, but, you know, if you do some things like with a flight stand and stuff, if you've got one of those in your collection, it's kind of fun posing him doing things like the crew de gras you know get that double stomp action going on i thought that was a lot of fun and turned out really really fun so accessories i brought that up a little bit so let's bring those in uh one thing i think is really cool is all of these turtle wwe figures have some pretty great accessories and the finn balor leo comes with several of them including these great ringside accessories so he does come with the ring steps the steel stairs of course, they're hollowed out plastic, but still a very, very nice accessory. Great for bashing in some of the other Turtles figures that you might have. And he even comes with a guardrail. And I thought it was a nice touch that they put the TMNT logo on the guardrail. So that is pretty cool. But lastly, he also comes with the NXT Championship. Obviously, this was in production before he was called up. <laughs> but still fun that we get the NXT title uh, in the TMNT line. Now, this is just like the belts we saw with the first series. They are really, really big with the wide straps um, the belt pieces here are actually just stickers and they're already on there when you get it but you can kind of see it's a little they're a little crinkled up on there um the belts are flexible and they are wide. They have two pegs there. So you can get them around the figure's waist. But it's worth noting that even though these belts are huge, um, the turtle shells are so wide, it does take a little bit of work to stretch the belt around the figure's waist. But it is doable. And that way you can pose your Finn Balor or any of your TMT WWE figures with the NXT Championship. So pretty cool stuff. So there you guys go. There is a look at Leonardo as Finn Balor. I really love this one. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Finn Balor. He's wonderful. And I think Leonardo is a great choice for this particular character. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I already mentioned, of course, the blue of Leo's bandana does clash a bit with the red and black. Maybe Raph would have looked a little bit better, but I'm totally okay with this. And I think it's a fun design, and I'm really glad that Finn Balor got included in this assortment. It's a really great modern-day WWE superstar to add to this collection, which has a great mixture of some classic superstars as well. So I got to give a very special thanks to Playmates Toys for sending this figure along so we can get a good look at it outside of the package before retail release. These are set to hit stores, I believe, in June, which could be any time now. And the good thing about these is, unlike Series 1, they are not exclusive to a specific store. So you should be able to find these at any retail location that carries turtles. So happy hunting, my friends! Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Ninja Turtles reviews. Until next time, my friends. Yeah.